Hi everyone, Kevin again, and I'm looking to answer another question for you all today. This is actually a third question I've answered today, so I'm on a bit of a roll. The electricity was down all day, but just before the sun goes away, the electricity has come back on, so I've managed to charge my camera up a little bit. This is the second part of a question that came from Ben from howtolearnabout.com. And Ben asks, how to develop a brand and monetize a site? I realise this is very general and your name is your brand and well recognised, but I'm looking for ideas on how to begin from scratch and try and make an online income. Now, obviously this is a kind of general question, and I mean, I could talk about making money online for hours, you know, depending on what type of website you're trying to make profitable, be it a directory or a forum or a blog or an online store, but I'm going to assume in this question that you're referring to your own website, howtolearnabout.com, and... You've got a blog where you help people about um, with affiliate marketing. Now, looking at your blog, the first thing I notice is it's not been branded much and it's not been personalised much. Now, the first thing I noticed is there's no logo. You know, you've just got a, you've just got a text for the name of your website, and it just says affiliate marketing. It doesn't say how to learn about. It just says affiliate marketing. So there's a little bit of inconsistency between the domain and what you're promoting as your website name. I, know I, I, I mean, I do see some people doing that, but I think it's better to have some consistency. Now, not having a logo is not a, necessarily a bad thing. I mean, sometimes I use a logo on my website. Sometimes, if it's a nice font, I would just use text to keep it a kind of minimal styling. But I think in your case, I think a logo would be good. And, you know, something that matches the, the website design and something professional to project the kind of image that you're trying to convey to readers. Because I assume in this type of website you're trying to present yourself as an expert, present yourself as knowledgeable on affiliate marketing. So you should try and be a bit more professional and use a logo, something brandable that you can use on your Facebook page and your Twitter page and whatnot. Now, when I look at the actual content of your blog, for me it's not personalised as much as it should be. And I think for blogs, branding and personalisation, you know, they go hand in hand. If you look at my blog, for example, if you look at the right-hand side, I have information about myself, I have pictures of myself, and my about page, I've got lots of pictures about myself, I have lots of uh, history about who I am, what I've done online, my travels, etc. And even to this day, I normally get one or two emails a month saying, oh, your about page was fantastic, because it's such a useful way of, such a great way of, of people getting to know you, and I think with blogging as well, there needs to be a connection, you know, between the reader and the person writing the article. But on your about page, you don't have any pictures, you just have, hi, my name is Bernard. And I think if you expanded that a little bit, you know, beyond a few paragraphs and expanded it, told people more about yourself, put some more pictures about it, I think it's going to be easier for people to connect to you. And again, with a, that connecting with someone is very important with a blog. So if you can, if you can personalise your about page, Place a widget on the side of your blog, make it more personal and, and show, show your face. I mean, perhaps that's not something you want to do, but I, I do think if you look at all the top bloggers online, all the top personalities, they all show themselves on video, they all show themselves on podcasts and on uh, photographs. And you kind of, I mean, you can get away with just using like an avatar or a little kind of cartoon picture of yourself, but really, if you want to be taken seriously, you really have to get your face out there. And I truly believe that. Now, in your content as well, I think you can be more personable. I think, you know, underneath your articles, you don't have a bio area with your picture, with a, a profile about yourself saying, hi, my name is Bernard, I'm, I write for this blog, etc. You, you need to be yourself. You need to convey your personality through your content. And with blogs, the branding and personalization, is, it, it does, it goes hand in hand. You need, to, you need to build yourself as the brand. Now, I've, 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 I've operated websites in the past where, you know, when I wasn't the sole writer. For example, when I owned bloggingtits.com, at one point I had about 15 writers writing articles every week. However, every single writer had a picture of themselves. Every single writer had a bio underneath their article and they had the name of the, the, name of the writer at the top of the article. You need to personalise your content and you need, to, you need to make the writers important. Because people need to connect when they're reading an article. It's not just like a generic, you know, there's so, content 
it's, it's, there's so much content online just now. You can't be generic. You need to be, you need to be an individual, and you need people to connect to yourself. So my advice to you, if you want to take how to learn about dot com forward, is to lo take a, get a logo. You know, get a logo that makes something, um, get a logo that's professional, and perhaps a new blog design. You know, freshen up your website a little bit. But when it comes to your content, I think that's the key area you need to focus on. You need to put more of yourself onto your blog pictures, history, just tell people about yourself and be, you know, just like me here, I'm standing here, I'm, I'm standing in front of a camera so that you can connect to me. I mean, but, but I don't think people will be able to connect to me as much if you didn't know my name, if you didn't know my history, if you didn't know what I looked like. You know, you would just be text on a page. Try and make that connection to your readers. And once you've, once you've done that, I think you'll find it easier to take your blog forward and then you can start looking at how you can monetize your blog. Now, there's so many ways to monetize a blog. I, I, I don't have time to go through them all in this video, but you know, just touch upon there's, you know, there's banner ads, there's sponsored reviews, there's text links. Obviously, Google's not a thing, but you can get text links with, with no follow links. You can, I mean, the sponsorships. There's, there's so many things to touch on. I mean, I think if you've got a blog, one of the most successful ways is to actually sell a product. You know, whether it be a book or a digital product, a theme or, a, you know, um. And, and your type of website as well, affiliate marketing, I assume you're going to be referring to a lot of top affiliate networks. So what you can do is place your referral fee in the uh, uh, referral link in the, in, the, in the articles. So that when someone signs up to your to a, a top affiliate network, they're going to go through and you're going to get a commission, be it 2% or 3% or 4% or whatever. It's not going to be, it's, I doubt it's going to be the main source of your income for your website, but it could be a big part of it. But before you start worrying about monetizing your website, look at personalizing your blog. Make it more personal and connect to your readers. That would be my, my advice to you. I mean, the first thing I, I looked at your blog, that was the first thing I noticed. I mean, as I said, there's so many blogs online today and you really need to make your, your blog stand out. And one of the best ways to do that is to be yourself, put your face out there and start connecting to your readers. So I hope you found that useful, Ben. Uh, as always, if you've got a comment, please leave it below in YouTube or on my blog and I'll do my best to answer it. And if you've enjoyed the video, please do subscribe. Thanks.